Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. If you're a fan of games that are easy to learn, hard to master, I think we're in for a good one here with War Pips. This is like a tug of war uh, strategy game. And like I said, very easy to learn, but there's a lot that's going on under the hood. And uh, we're gonna start a new series on it right now. So let's begin. We're gonna do normal because I, I don't know how crazy this gets. Maybe one day we'll be hardcore. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna try my best to get there. Uh, we need to name our army. So, okay, let's go with the, uh, let's go odd bodies. Let's go oddy bodies. That's better. There will be bodies. Uh, our insignia, I mean, there's a, a plethora of choices here. Let's go, let's go old school. Pac-Man, I'm down. What color should we do? Green, army green, oddy bodies. I like that. Let's rock and roll. Now, here is the, the pre-mission planning, okay? So we are currently on this star uh, landmass, and we need to move through towards here and destroy the enemy. As we go, the enemy gets stronger. We can only go through adjacent uh, territories, so we have to work towards some type of definitive path that we want. There's also uh, high-value rewards uh, clearly marked on the map. You can imagine what that does. Now, without getting too far ahead of ourselves, we're just going to pick a zone to start in. Uh, you can see these are different types of rewards. You'll see how this works once we start. We do need to go into our loadout first. Uh, we have uh, regular pips. These are mercenaries, basic gun for hires. We're going to equip these guys. We also have uh, tacticians. These are support infantry. They call down artillery strikes and buffs the accuracy of pips around them. You can also see here that we can upgrade units. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to throw in some sandbags here, uh, which is better cover for infantry and turrets. And then I also have the turrets, as mentioned, anti-infantry portable turrets. So we're going to throw this down here as well. There's also an arms dealer that we can use our war bucks on if we want. And then there's upgrades that we'll get into uh, a little bit later, it looks like. You can see our potential rewards, heavy gunners, snipers, and drone swarms. Pretty excited about that. Uh, I should mention, once you add something to your bar like this, they're gone. It's it, They're consumed. You have to earn them later. So this is Operation Colossal Bowl. The round is 12 minutes long. It gives you a difficulty here. Shows you when the enemies are going to spawn waves. Let's rock and roll. Let's show you Let's show you what this is about. I'm, <laughs> I'm pumped about this. I, I really think you guys are going to dig this. Okay. Colossal Bull. They kind of have some of like the XCOM mission naming things going on where they just throw in a bunch of random first words, bunch of random second words, and just see what happens. So this is our map. Everything is automated. So we've got, uh, we can spawn in our mercenaries here. I'm going to spawn in three of them right now. I've, in my small experimenting, uh, I found that uh, spawning in batches is generally better. Now, this part's automated, so they're just going to battle it out. You're going to see that we're going to level up as we go. Every time we level up, we earn these medals, and you can use that to upgrade your units and or get more units on the map. You can see here we're limited to three right now. So let's add one. These guys are probably going to die near here, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to wait until I can spawn like four of these guys at one time. And because we're kind of leveling here, I'm going to actually take this. We're going to level up our guys. So now they have those extra benefits. Uh, if I right click here, you can see what the upgrade is done. It's going to spawn two mercenaries for one supply. Pretty nice. So I click it once, we get two now. That's absolutely massive. That's, that's insane. It's insanely powerful. You can see why you want to upgrade these guys. So anyways, we've thrown out all of our units here. I do want to spawn in some tacticians. I'm going to wait till we get to 100. I'll start spawning a couple of those in. Because they're going to help buff these guys and uh, keep them alive for a little bit longer. I'm actually going to take 20, 20 war bucks here. <laughs> these are actually not war bucks. These are just regular bucks. Uh, and we're going to build some additional cover for our guys. Maybe we'll let, Maybe we'll let this group go. Nah, let's spawn these guys in. Let's spawn them in. I got a little greedy there. I should have probably waited. Because now this guy's going to get absolutely slaughtered. And it's going to be messy. Let me spawn in two of these. Now, these units here, these supply or, uh, or support tacticians, they're actually going to go behind your units. They're going to automatically do that to A, stay alive, and B, apply those buffs. And you can see here what's happening. We're absolutely demolishing. As we push across, we can start placing uh, additional barriers. 
to fortify our positions. You can see down here the progression uh, of the enemy. If this gets to the end, we lose. We have to destroy this before that happens. So I'm just going to let this group go, I think. Let's see how much money we can earn in the meantime. We'll upgrade again, I think. I can maybe make an argument that we should have upgraded uh, the amount of units, but that's kind of the balance in this game, which is pretty cool. Now, this person's running back. This is actually fine. Let's spawn in th three of these, which is... Or four of these. Enemy wave approaching. Okay, so you can see it when we have, like, the construction bars here. The things are going to get pretty nutty. Uh, we could maybe throw in some turrets, but they seem to be... I think we got lucky there and exploded a barrel. Let's see. Now, let's take one of these and upgrade... Our squad size, we'll throw in some more guys from the back. Some of our guys died. You can see now we're spawning in a ton. Three mercenaries for one supply. Insane. Uh, the tacticians also have artillery strikes. And at the first upgrade, it reduces the delay. And then the second upgrade, it greatly reduces the delay between art artillery strikes. So slightly reduced, sorry, and greatly reduced. All right, we just got absolutely demolished. Uh, let's throw in some turrets here. And let's spawn in some regular guys. Now, we also have these buttons on the left and the right. Uh, I'm holding down this little shield right now. What this is doing is fortifying uh, their positions. It's making them shoot from a little bit further away. And you can see here they're not pushing as aggressively across the, um, the map. Now, it is draining both because we also have an offensive one over here. But I want to keep these guys defensive through this wave. You can see it flashing on the timeline bar there. And I'm going to do this until we're out of juice. Okay, we're out of juice. Let's go ahead and keep upgrading with our metals. And we're going to push these guys across now. I should probably spawn in some of these. Give them a little chance to catch up there. Let's see how we do. We are pushing across pretty nice. I'm going to accelerate this. Now, when we do this, when we uh, hold the offensive button, we move faster and we have greater accuracy. We're starting to hit that objective, so we're doing pretty well here, but we're out in the open, which I don't love. You can see that if we're maintaining a position here, we could have put down uh, sandbags on their side, which is super cool. Now, these guys are going to run back. They should get back in a decent time frame here. Let's start spawning in more. I like to go in a batch. I kind of feel like if you just spawn them all the time, you're going to have like these trickle-in deaths. But when look at this. like These guys are going to be in an awesome position. I'm going to try and catch another group up here. And there we go. I still have one more slot. Let's accelerate. We're going to we're going to take this down. This thing's going down doesn't stand a chance. Absolutely demolished. All right, cool. Now this is level 1, all right? This is level 1. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to find a whole bunch of stuff soon and uh we'll constantly be unlocking new things, researching new stuff like <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm into it. As you can probably tell. Uh, when you finish the stuff, you're going to see... Uh, when you finish a mission, you'll see your rewards. Got a heavy gunner. So he's powerful, but slow armored infantry. Fires explosive ammunition. Uh, snipers, long-range precision shooters. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know I'm... I can't resist the snipes. And then I got drone swarms launching a swarm of explosive kamikaze attack drones. Yeah, that sounds cool too. But remember, those are all consumable. You don't just have those forever now. So let's say we want to progress. Uh, let's work up here. I mean, this is cool. We got to go for it. There's a balance, though. Uh, as you can see, our enemy army strength has increased. Uh, if we just beeline for the end, the army will be uh, less powerful. But we might not have all the upgrades that we need, or we might not have all the lineup that we want in order to, uh, uh, to succeed. So... It's going to be tough. We're going to try to figure it out as we go along. Uh, I'm going to work up towards here, though, because obviously we get a UAZ. Why not? Uh, pistol pips. We're going to get all sorts of cool stuff. All right. So here we're dealing with basic pistol pips, uh, medium range soldier and a shotgunner. So we want to kind of keep these guys at a distance if possible. Rewards would be a heavy gunner, sandbags and a smoke grenade. Now for our loadout, I think a sniper versus shotgunners would be great. Uh, they level up their range, it looks like, which is pretty cool. I'm excited to see, like, they could do so much 
with this. They could do a lot of like XCOM style things that I love. Uh, and I think that would be, oh, this is early access. Not even, it's not even released yet. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Anyway, let's go tacticians. We got to go mercenaries, obviously. Got to throw mercenaries in there. And I think we're just going to throw in snipers, maybe. I think that's probably okay. Let's take some sandbags and we'll take these. Now, you'll notice I don't have any like basic mercenaries anymore. So hopefully we can get those. We'll see. I guess here, yeah, we can buy basic mercenaries for five war bucks. So if we run out, then there we go. What's this thing? Oh, tear gas grenade. Cool. I like that. This changes every time, I imagine. Then we have upgrades here. These are a lot of war bucks, uh, but we'll get into that. All right. So let's go. Let's do this. Good music, too. Kind of reminds me of, like, Super Nintendo, like, Street Fighter, in a way. Operation Dazzling Horse. <laughs> Coming in hot. Okay. Let's let her rip here. I, I, I'm tempted to just, like, throw them out right away, but, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna hold up to the 60. There we go. So now we got three coming in. Um, special units, special units uh, have restrictions, so they don't show up right away. Um, the tacticians, I believe, have a bit of a cooldown. It looks like for the, for the uh, snipers, you have to use an action point, or a combat point, I should say. So there we go. And they cost 100, which is kind of crazy. Our guys actually just got smoked right there. So I'm going to wait and spawn in uh, four of them. Let's get them to take cover here. You can see like how the enemy ramps up when it's red. It's, it's worse. If we can get through this section, then we can kind of push through here when they're a little bit weaker. Let's wait for them to take out that dude. Not happening, and I'm out of gas. Okay, let's spawn in more. These guys are still relatively close. Let's get an extra slot open as well. And then after this wave, we'll focus on upgrading, because you can see getting to that upgrade is, like, game changer. We shouldn't even spawn this many until we get these guys leveled up. I think the first thing we do, we spend our medals. Second thing we do is we get more dudes on the map. Now, in here, you can also spend a combat point to get cash when things are desperate. And you can upgrade things to get... Or you can upgrade this to get more cash. As a reminder, you get these combat points every time we level. We get levels by killing. Okay, that did not go well. That was unfortunate. Let's drop a couple in here. Although, I want to hold off until we can get this upgrade. So, we're coming up to the hot zone. Let's get these guys behind cover. There we go. Okay, nice. So now we're getting two mercenaries for one. Let's do it. I'm going to hold defensively here. We're going to be on defense a lot. Uh, this gets upgraded uh, as we get kills and stuff as well. I would like to get uh, some snipers out here. I would like to get some snipers out for this big heavy part. So I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to spend anything right now. Because at 100 bucks, that's insane. Come on. Don't let him do it. This is actually not a bad place to defend. We've got that barrier. And they, they wrecked. Enemy wave approaching. So this is, this is pretty big. We got some big bad boys coming at us here. Uh, we're behind though. We're behind the barrier. I'm just going to let these guys do their thing. We'll see how far they can take this. We're out of gas. They're going to die. They're going to get mowed down. Not a problem. Okay, let's do... Three of these, one sniper. Oh, look, at the, look at the size of the gun. Literally longer than he is tall. I'm going to spawn this in as well. And uh, we'll upgrade here, I think. Oh, jeez. Look at the laser beam on that guy. <laughs> I love it. Let's get defensive here, boys. We got we're, we're dealing with Yeah, here we go. Everyone's upgraded. Okay. 
Greatly increases the shooting range. Watch his laser beam. Can we see this? Our guys are killing him too quick. Here he comes. He's going up to the truck. Not a big deal. Man, I could get into like... I could shout cast this game. I could do it. No problem. I'm going to spawn in another one of these guys. They s oh, look at the... Ooh, it's insane. So now that we're in their weak spot here, we should motor. Enemy airstrike arriving soon. So we got to take this thing down ASAP. We'll spawn in a bunch of these guys. Press forward. Higher accuracy. Now, these guys kind of operate uh, like our tacticians from uh, the first map. In, in the sense that they want to go behind the other units, which I think is super cool. We got to press our advantage here. This is all about when to deploy stuff. That's the whole strategy. Figuring that out, we've got our problem solved. Enemy airstrike incoming. Let's go. Get it. Get it. We got it. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. I don't know what happens if the airstrike hits, but it's probably horrible. It's probably not good for the army, let me tell you. Okay, we're up to 20 war bucks. Uh, we're probably going to have to buy a basic um, gunner. Uh, we have a couple of these now. More sandbags, smoke grenades, conceals friendly infantry and vehicles that are harder to hit. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys see now what's going on? I think you got it. Okay, so we're going to go north. Uh, we are dealing with UAZ. is going to drop off a small group of soldiers to the front line of a battlefield. And then they got shotgunners. That's a very interesting combo. We're going to get two guns for hire, a shield pip that can absorb small arms fire, and oil derricks. So, again, something more long range would be good. Something AOE, probably, for the small group of soldiers that it's going to drop. Uh, we only have two options. So, we're going to go with... Um, we're going to go with the heavy gunner. And I guess let's go to the arms dealer. We're having a sale on drones. That's cool. Let's do... Let's just buy a mercenary here. For five. We've got 15. I think we probably want to save this for upgrades. Um... Yeah, versus shotgunners, there's not a whole lot I can do. Because I used our sniper for the last group of shotgunners. But I think I think this is the right idea. Let's go with these two. We'll throw in a barricade and... Swarm of explosive kamikaze attack drones. That feels kind of cool. I didn't even need to use our turrets in the last one. How intense is this mission? Five on ten? Only, yeah, I don't know. I think we, I think this is probably okay. Let's, we'll, we're gonna find out. We'll find out very quickly. Okay, addicted spoon. Well, this is innocuous little unintentional drug reference. Maybe I just watched too much Netflix. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to do? Well, we want to spawn in some guys. We'll wait till we get the ability to spawn three. A couple of quick upgrades, or a couple of quick uh, levels, and then we can get them into the next rank immediately. I, I want to take that thought process that we had from last time and run with it. Now, if it's just shotgunners, man, we're going to probably demolish the early waves. Um, I can see this game adding, like, a pause button or a speed up, slow down button. I, I, I kind of like that they don't have one, though, if I'm being totally honest. Because it makes it way more intense. Okay, so they're ranked up. Now when we buy, it's going to be much better. Let's take our advantage here. Let's get some damage on the objective. I'm out of juice. And the shotgunner is going to blast us. Okay. All right. So now, let's spawn in six. Where are my barriers at? Let's throw one here. I think that's good for now. And the next couple of upgrades, we're going to start grabbing supply pips here. Grab it right now. I'll spawn in another group right behind. We just need to weather this storm. 
this upcoming storm. But I, I really feel like we should be able to handle that. As long as when we get to this point and they spawn in, that's when we're going to have problem, problems. Do we even want to bring this guy? Not yet. Not yet. We're going to wait. They're doing work on these shotgunners. Okay, here comes the big wave, though. Oh, they're just... Okay, bye. See you later. Okay, we need to hold here. We need to hold. Uh, let's grab another upgrade. And let's take defensive positions, team. Try to work that button just, just right. I'm going to spawn in another group here. A pip at this point is very valuable because we're getting two. With that vehicle coming... Oh my god. The Grenadier just slaughtered. The Heavy Gunner, sorry. My... Oh. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, cover. So they get cover bonus and weapon range, as you can see. And then over here, as I mentioned, you get move speed and weapon accuracy. Let's push right now. Oh, I think we might win. We might win. Give her. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it. I'm very curious to see how um, the difficulty scales. If we keep, like, if we continue to crush, I'll just, I'll put us on hardcore or something, but we're very early. So this, we should be crushing. I'm sure when things get more complex, it's going to get pretty scary. All right. So we got the shield pip and we got the oil derrick. Provides a small amount of cash over time. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Okay. Maybe we'll we'll save that one for when we go to the, the A-bomb up here. So this is going to be more challenging, right? We've got, yeah, medium range, close range, uh, weak low damage, and the UAD. So a lot more variety in terms of the enemy lineup we are going to have uh big rewards here so sandbags uh oil barrel to sell for instant cash rockets now these are things that are a little bit more predictable than your pips you throw out your pips and they're kind of going to you know wherever they want uh these things target directly an enemy uh you don't choose it but you know that it's going to land and it's going to hit uh pi oh Anti-infantry attack dogs? Are you kidding me? Okay. Three war pips. Two tacticians and an extra life. Wow. Okay. This is super cool. <laughs> uh, let's check the mission info here. So this is a little bit more difficult. It's a six on ten, as you would as you would kind of expect. And uh, oh man, what are we gonna do here? I'll tell you what. I well, let's take a break here. Okay. We'll probably be able to do, a, I don't know, two or three missions every episode. But yeah, I am digging this big time. And I hope you guys do as well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, liking the video, it does a lot of good things. YouTube's very happy about that. So, you know, make YouTube happy and it makes everybody happy. Guys, thank you so much. Have a good one, okay? We'll see you in the next one. Bye.